Bimini's leading hotel has made some major changes since Rock Resorts took over the property. Shashina Roll tells us the emphasis now is on training. Since Rock Resorts took over Bimini Bay Resort and Marina back in March, a major emphasis has been placed on management training. Now, officials of this resort say that the central focus of this training is customer service. And this is because when visitors come here, they want them to receive first-class service across the board. Our training is brand-centered, so for those of you who understand brands, um, we are focused on reaching a certain level within our company, and we're focused on every department. Generally what happens throughout every month in our organization here at Bimini Bay, we have departments focusing on brand standard training, customer service training, um, safety training. In each department, the responsibility for the leader uh, is to ensure that some training is taking place. Food quality and safety is an important area in the tourism industry, and that is why the resort has allowed employees in this department to train abroad. Culinary has taken on a, um, a great initiative to ensure that we meet um, international standards in terms of safety, in terms of health, in terms of um, how we present our foods and um, pre present our services. Um, we've also had um, much training in terms of our systems for our convention and sales processes in terms of kind of technology. We have a lot of technology training going on as well. Fan Roll security manager has traveled to Colorado for training. He believes it was quite beneficial. We sit down, we, we come up with ways that where everything is consistent rather um, to ensure that guests are receiving the same thing that they receive in Colorado, they would get the same service that we do here in Bimini. The human resources manager says this type of training is not just important to the resort, but to the Bahamas as a whole. Tourism is our industry. We're an international um, um, organization. We have to reach international standards. Persons expect international services and standards here. So thus it's important for Bimini Bay to be able to demonstrate those and meet our expectations, meet the expectations of our guests. Now, while the training programs are only being offered at this time to those in management positions, plans are already underway to include line staff in training as well. Shashina Roll, ZNS News. More infrastructural works earmarked for Eleuthera. Recently, the government signed a $2.7 million contract for upgrades to the Three Island Dock in North Eleuthera. And now it's looking to do similar works at another dock on the island. Here's Carla Palmer. The Harbor Island Dock in North Eleuthera is an important feature of the island. It operates as a transshipment terminal, servicing not only residents of the Eleuthera district and nearby Keys, but is used by more than 350 visitors daily. But there are telltale signs of a dock that is in serious disrepair. These range from eroded and missing wooden planks used as steps to either access vessels or the dock, to broken concrete and the absence of safety rails. There's a need for restoration. And so what we're doing today is scoping uh, and pricing the existing dock. On the island recently with his team of engineers, Minister of Public Works and Transport, Nico Grant, looked at the improvements to be made. You would note that there's presently a freight boat in and there's uh, congestion. And so we, uh, we seek to move the passenger from the line of the commercial traffic. Harbor Island boasts of one of the highest visitor returns uh, in the country. And so it's important that our visitors and the residents of Harbor Island are able to uh, move in an atmosphere that is safe. With congestion highlighted as a major concern, expansion of the dock is being blueprinted. Dion Monroe is assistant engineer at the Ministry of Works. There's need some work to the um, uh, catwalk, ex probably expansion of the catwalk, and also resurfacing of the concrete works. Resurfacing and adding a catwalk to the pedestrians, we don't have to come up to the, con up to the concrete surface, they'll continue along and then ex exit near to Bay Street. Also moving some of the vehicles off the dock and let them park on the Bay Street. Israel Johnson is not only supervisor at the Ministry of Works stationed in North Eleuthera, but he's a resident of James Cistern. He's looking forward to the finished product. I think it is necessary because this dock, uh, the commun community out outgrown it and they need expansion. And it is uh, really necessary for, for them to do that at this time. The estimated cost of the work to the Harbor Island dock is between three to four hundred thousand dollars. However, there's no time frame as to when the upgrades will be made. Carla Palmer, ZNS News. 
Keep those Family Island stories coming. We love hearing about them. Email us at finews at znsbahamas.com.